so I've gone and done what I said I wouldn't do. Oops. <laughs> So I've gone and done what I said I wouldn't do but then I probably would do it in the back of my mind and as you've seen from the title of this video the title is true I've gone and bought myself another car to replace the Honda oops so we all love a bit of a car buying story and this is another car buying story of how I've got hold of my recent car purchase so this car was actually for sale while i was still in the possession of my civic i just facebook messengered this guy if that's a word he was a car salesman and i was just being cheeky even though i had no money to spend on a car and i still had the civic i just said to the guy like you do oh what's the lowest you take for this car bearing in mind the actual price that the car was advertised at i would have paid that for the car anyway but obviously like i said i still had the honda and i didn't have the cash basically to buy another car so this car still stayed on facebook marketplace and i kept seeing it you know sort of every day still on there and you know i quite liked the car it was it was quirky it's actually quite a rare car as well it's something that i have heard of but this is an older model to the ones i've seen I told myself if i had the money and i didn't have the honda i would this is the sort of car i would like to own this is my kind of car so that sort of inspired me to put the Honda up for sale. When you see something you want to buy, you also need the cash. I thought if I sell the Honda, that gives me cash to then buy something else I want. So I told myself, if this car is meant to be for me, it will still be for sale by the time I sell my Honda and obviously have some money to buy said car. So this car, like I said, it started off at one price and then went down to another price, I believed. By this time, I then sold the Honda and this car was still for sale. So again, I messaged a guy. I was a bit cheeky, he now reduced it for a second time and I said to him, what's the lowest you take? And he basically reduced the price by another 150 quid. So this car's already been reduced for a while and obviously it was still for sale, no one was interested in it because it is a quirky old thing. I had the money and I said, yes, come and have a look. It was a local car as well, which obviously was cool. And we were there at this little dealership, took the car for a drive. When I got in the car, I realised because it was so old, it did and didn't have certain things so let's just cut to the chase and let's show you my new old but extremely rare car so here it is then guys my 1992 hyundai pony times two ls one of apparently four left in the uk on the roads and i've done it again guys so this car has only had one owner since new and this mileage beats the honda civic mileage so i thought the honda civic mileage was low at 23,000. this nearly 30 year old car has only got 17,000 miles on the clock so i've outdone myself there and yes you did hear right one seven seventeen thousand miles baby that's the one had one woman say to me what are you doing with that as in my camera on the tripod and i said oh, i'm filming a car video and she didn't look quite happy and now mine has got chatting to some bloke that has just climbed over a gate and now i can't film my video at all <laughs> so time for a walk around guys so on the outside i'll have to find a paint name paint color for this particular color but it is like a bronzy gold kind of colour and then inside the interior is actually I think one of the best selling points about this whole car it's very beige inside very beige very 90s and very comfy that's what we like so I will do another video of everything that's wrong with this car because it is an older car compared to my Civic and although this car has also had one previous owner which was an elderly lady and I believe it's been garage which is why the paintwork is still so like new because it is 
she hasn't been very well looked after in the past so she does need a bit of TLC but that's cool this car I want to do bits to whereas the Honda was just too nice and it didn't need anything doing let me know your thoughts in the comments below I quite like the look of this car so obviously we have a three door these do come in a four door I believe this is a mark 2 and I've seen a couple of mark 3s for sale that's why I think there's not many left of this particular shape. So we've got the nice sort of sporty three door, which I do think looks sporty. And I just like the whole squareness of the car. Now, I will say this now because it is my plan as I go on to my ownership with this car. I want to modify it and I want to get that wheel just tucking in that nice back arch would be pretty cool. So you can see for the first time today, I've had the car a week now, I've popped open the rear windows, they were a bit stuck but they are open now. So again, as we go on to the back, I really like how the back looks. we got this sort of black bit in the middle where the number plate is seated and then we've got the nice square colourful rear lights. Just, yeah, I love how this car looks from the front and the back and the side. It's just all angles, I think this car is looking good. And going from the front, I think We've had this conversation, me and Martin and me and my family, I think you can mistake this car for a few other cars like a Mazda 323, you could maybe even say it looks a bit like a Honda, but this car with the orange amber indicators does look a bit sort of American I would say. I love the front of it and we've got the tiny little Hyundai badge just sat in the little grill there. So this is obviously, as I've bought the car, I haven't done any cleaning to the interior and the interior is a little bit skanky. So under here we have the 1.3 litre petrol engine, five speed gearbox, and apparently this engine produces, are you ready guys, a whopping 72 brake horsepower. So watch out, won't be beating my bath anytime soon. At the moment as we speak, it's currently a poorly pony. <laughs> And I love the way this is called a pony car, it's just hilarious and it's even pony coloured on the outside and in. So yeah, this is not a lot to see under here, it is a carburetor engine, we have got a manual choke which is taking me a bit of time to get used to. But not a lot really to see here, but here is the engine for those that are interested in engines. These nice chrome door handles, a bit of luxury. This car does actually come with two keys, my Honda only came with one. So we have got windy down windows, we got this nice beige cloth pattern on either door card and we have these really nice, they're sort of, sort of sporty looking with the bolsters here, beige woven seats. This obviously just goes up and down and forward and back, luckily it does go forward enough for my midget little legs. So as we get into the car, sorry about the shadows because it is a nice sunny day, we have this again very beige looking dashboard, we have the little clock and my dad found out that this little thing pops down, it's got the uh, hour, minute and setting. How cute is that? Love that. We have the glove box, so here we have the very weird looking instrument clusters, so we have the 17,000 miles down the bottom, with temperature, the fuel and we have this random gap where why they didn't just put a couple of needles in there and make a rev count out of that. I don't know, I think it's a bit of a waste. Down here we have our lights, and obviously that's just telling me I have a door open at the moment. So being a Korean car, the indicators are on the wrong side, but I have owned a Korean car before and you do get used to it. So the wipers and everything are on that side, indicators and lights are on that side. Down here we have the uh, manual choke, I have owned classic cars before, so I'm just getting used to the choke in this particular car. A lot of cubby holes as well to my surprise. So we have this cubby hole here, which if I just get my phone, yeah, it fits straight in there. I love that. We have the hazard switch on the top. Going over here, we've got all this beige and we've got a random black center console bit here, but I suppose there's a bit of two-tone breaks up all the beige and brown we have going on. A couple of blank switches missing here, but this is mainly like your wipers, the mister, which seems to work. Everything seems to work on this car. All, even all the heater fans, we tried that. Original radio, which again does work, doesn't sound too bad. A couple of nice cubby holes down here, which again fits a nice phone or two. Lots of cubby holes here, and if I open this up, it's a bit grim in here, but... Yeah. That's why I want to leave this car as it is so I can show you what comes with this car that I bought. We even have this little thing here which I believe was probably for pound coins, sorry about the shadows. We have the 5 speed manual gear stick and then going on to the back we have another little cubby hole there. Then we have this weird sort of sticky vinyl 
sticky fake leather stuff it's really gross so whether that's needs to clean or not i don't know we have the glove box with some p plates and it's hard to believe that's our mask and tape and it's hard to believe someone was uh passing a test in his car but there you go you never know that just needs a bit of a slam to close and this these are manually adjusted mirrors as well into the back now and it's really cool in the back as well so this looks like a comfy place to be we've got the beige seat belts i haven't actually looked in these yet so oh that looks really clean and what's in there god that's pretty deep in there guys let's check the other one see if we find anything on in a second yeah he's clean God, it's so deep. So yeah, this is what it's like being in the back. We've got the poppy out your windows, which I absolutely love. A couple of speakers, and then we've got a handle here. Oh, it won't let me do it. So when the boot's up, I guess you can fold this bit back to maybe put all the things in the boot. I don't really know. Something which I like is the roof lining. It's like vinyl, so if ever it got dirty, you could probably just wipe clean, and that's not sagging or anything. That's in really good condition. Oh. I just love the interior on this car, it's so cool. So in the boot now, it's quite a big boot as well. The seats fold forward, the parcel shelf comes out. We do actually have two speakers either side and under this random floor mat, which I guess is original, we have a spare wheel toolkit. And again, me and Martin bought this car on our own. We're not mechanics, but we know what to look for. Oh, Michelin, wow. So there's no rust on this car apart from actually a little bit, but yeah, all in here, floor and all that stuff, no rust, nice and dry, and that is what we like. So that crusty old sticker on the back there is actually the original sticker the car was sold with from the original main dealership, and all the plates as well got the original dealer stamp on, which is pretty cool. So we've got a weird sort of badge on here. So basically, it says times two pony LS. Uh, what is a times two? I'm not too sure whether it means mark two, maybe. The rust patch I was telling you about, and like I said, I'll do another video of everything wrong with the car all in one video. And we've just restuck this down for a reason. So subscribe, <laughs> ring that bell so you get notified when my next video goes up and you will see what is under that tape. How about that for a little teaser, hey? But that's the only bit of rust on the car. The camera's picking it up. So someone has looked after her a little bit. She does have four matching Dunlop tyres. So like I say, although this car has got lower mileage than my Civic, it is an older car, therefore it does need a bit of TLC. Like I said previously, a minute ago, this is currently a poorly pony. She seems to have some sort of a misfire. The car did come with some service history. I thought it'd be up to date service history. It's not. We've got a few service stamps from back in the 90s, so I'm hoping this car has been serviced since. If not, that might be why she's a bit of a poorly pony and she has got a bit of a misfire. But I've got all the service items. We'll service this car in another video with help from my trusty dad and hopefully a good service. And me just driving her, she might not have been driven much. Well, she probably hasn't, hence the very low mileage. So hopefully me just using her in a good service will hopefully clear the car out and she will run and drive like she should. So apart from the car currently having a misfire, she runs sweet. I mean, obviously this car doesn't have ABS. Oh, and it also doesn't have power steering. So yeah, my arms will definitely be getting a workout driving this car. But the tip is obviously the key to turn the wheel while the car's still in motion. That's just a little cheat I have to remember in my head. But yeah, she changes gear really nice and easily. The clutch is a bit high. Hopefully we'll sort out that misfire in another video and she will drive and run like she should. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you live in the UK or obviously if you live anywhere in the world, let me know if you've seen many of these cars on the road. Like I said, I think it is an extremely rare car. The plan is to modify it, but we've got a long way to go till we get to that stage. We need to get a run in and drive in as well as you should first. That's the main point of call. And this is what I wanted, a little car that does need a bit of work. She needs a bit of body work. She also needs a bit of engine tinkering. So for that reason, there will be more videos to come on this car than there ever were for the Honda. The Honda is just too nice. This is nice in its own way, but yeah, she just needs a bit of TLC first to get her up to standard. There'll be a lot more videos to come on this car. So if you like this video, and if you like my new old 90s car, then please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Do subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified when our next video gets uploaded onto my YouTube channel. More videos to come on this. You'll probably see more Hyundai videos in the future than the Abarth. The Abarth's much newer car, doesn't need any work doing to it. This car is much older and needs quite a lot of work. 
do into it. And remember to go and check out my new website. It's not just an online store. It will be There will be blog posts on there. So I'm about to take some photos and do a little write-up. So if you want to know more in depth about the car, you can obviously watch my YouTube videos. And then you can head over to my website, read up more in depth stuff and buy some products if you want to support me a little bit further. So yeah, I hope you like the new car, guys. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this bank holiday weekend. And I'll see you in another video. Probably a Hyundai one. See you later. But for now, here's my poorly pony. Oh, and uh, by the way, the boot struts need replacing as well. So for the time being, it's either a broom handle or when you forget to bring a broom handle, it, it's your head. Hyundai Pony times two, 1.3 litre car and we have another door as well